one of the things that we've been working on and dreaming is how do we take all of our R Squad homes and bring them together for one incredible night. Just an awesome night of music and fun and food and, and, and hearing from students like you and how do, you, how do we create something you can invite your friends to. And So right now this morning I'm kind of pumped because we're going to check out a space that might work for us. It's about all I can tell you. I might show you a couple little, little snippets of the space, but I'm on the way to go meet Jordan. So let's go check this place out. What's up, dude? What's going on? This might just work. <laughs> All right, everybody. So we're back and getting ready to jump into our discussion that we've been talking about in the Bible, the importance of the Bible. And while we've been doing this, we've been getting a chance to get to know Jordan a little bit. He joined us last week. Boom. There he is. What's up? So, hey, that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be talking about the Bible. And one of the big things about the Bible is that the Bible invites us into a lot of discussions. It invites us into a lot of neat things. And, uh, Jordan, I thought it would be kind of funny to share the story of our meeting together. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> It's kind of an embarrassing story. I get this text message from um, uh, Jordan, and he's like, hey man, you wanna get together? And what did I do? I'm just trying to be a nice guy. You know, I'm just trying to get to know Joey. Just, I don't know, go out for lunch, maybe grab a cup of coffee. And so uh, he just responds back, I don't drink coffee. <laughs> um, Wait, 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 we gotta back it up. So, you sent me the first text, hey man, what, my name's Jordan, I wanna get together, all yeah. this kind of stuff. I just ignored that one completely. Oh, right, right, right. right? Yeah, I I ignored that tried one. to remove that kind of from my memory, but yeah. yeah. Ignored me the first time. And then uh, you, had, you had asked about coffee. Right. And then our mutual friend, Maury, yeah. reached out to me. He's like, hey man, why don't you, why don't you hit my boy Jordan back up? And I'm like, ah man, I don't know. Tell that boy I don't drink coffee. And he did. He told him that I don't drink coffee. And so you just took measures into your own hands. Yeah, just kind of left me hanging. So, you know, when someone's not going to talk to you face to face, you just got to go after them, you know? Me, well, I'm just going to show up randomly, unexpectedly, without you knowing where I'm coming from. He shows up at Renovation Church. Hey, man, heard you don't drink coffee, so I figured I would just come over here and hang out. So at that point, I was like, well, I'm a jerk. And uh, so, yeah, so that's how we... Yeah, that's how, that's how it all began. Now, when it comes to the things of God, there is a big part of invitation being played here, which we'll get to in just a minute. But, like, if we wanted to know a little bit more about God and about who God is, like, there's a couple places we could go. One of those places we could go is Google. Now, Jordan, why don't you Google um, God is or God. Um, and then we would get some responses that are... Rather strange. Uh, God, El Elvis? Seriously? God, bigger God is Elvis. A bigger. Anyway, so let's just skip Google. We're going to skip Google altogether because there's no telling what's going to happen there. But we have a trusted source. We set this up last week. So we have a source that, that uh, doesn't change, right? So we can go back to the source that doesn't change to learn about God himself. We're going to talk about three attributes of God. Attributes are the things, the characteristics, who God is. We're going to talk about three of those that would be important to you as a student right now. All right, so Jordan, what's that first attribute? Yeah, the first attribute that we want to talk about is God is immutable. God is immutable. Does that mean, like, there's a button right here on my remote. God is unmutable. Is that the same thing? Uh, uh, I don't think it is either. Not quite yeah. Exactly. Whatever. God's immutable, and I know that's a really big word, but basically that's just a special word for God doesn't change. And so we've talked a little bit about how the Bible doesn't change, but we're also talking tonight about how the character of God does not change. And so that means his plans don't change, his personality doesn't change, it doesn't matter the highs or the lows, the ups and the downs. Scripture talks about in Malachi 3, uh, a specific context says, I the Lord do not change. So what does that mean for you as a teenager? What that means is you live in a world and in a society where things are constantly changing. What was what was uh, great yesterday is not even trending today. Uh, things are constantly moving in and out of flux. Your relationships are constantly changing. Uh, your family dynamics will oftentimes change. You've got all of these different things that are changing in your world, but God does not change. There's no need for him to change because he was perfect from the very beginning. And so for you, man, as a teenager, you know you have a solid, 
unchanging source that you can go to in your prayer, that you can go to, that you can trust in, that will not change. In a lot of ways, it's like an anchor that like holds you in there. The second one is this, is God is omniscient. He's all-knowing. Now, we've talked about some of these omnis before. If you remember, uh, earlier in the year, we talked about omni omnipotent. There's actually omnipotent, but this is this is omniscient. This is all knowing that God knows everything that's going on in your life. God knows everything that is going on in your world, and he's paying close attention to it. Now, in the Bible, we find this passage in Isaiah 46, verse 9. It says, remember the things I have done in the past, for I alone am God. I am God. There is none like me. Verse 10, only I can tell you the future before it happens. Everything I plan will come to pass for I do whatever I wish. That's a really powerful verse that shows that God knows everything that is going on. Now, as a student and as a teenager, you may be sitting there and you've got some very real struggles that are going on inside. Struggles that you think no one else knows about, that no one else understands, and it's causing you maybe to even isolate yourself to remove remove yourself from people and places that you know would be good for you to go. But God knows all of that. So your anxiety, your worry, those things that you have going on, guess what? God already knows and he loves you enough to be there, to be with you, to help you through it. So there's so many times when we think, you know what? Nobody understands. Nobody knows where I'm at. Well, you have a God who completely and fully understands and knows everything that's going on in your life. The third thing that we want to talk about is this idea that God is omnipresent. And so that means he's in all places all the time, but that's the way that he is. He's omnipresent. (laughs) Here's what the Bible has to say about that in Psalms 139. Check this out. It says, I can never escape from your spirit. I can never get away from your presence. If I go up to heaven, you're there. If I go down to the grave, you're there. If I ride the wings of the morning, if I dwell by the furthest oceans, even there your hand will guide me and your strength will support me. This last part's so cool. I could ask the darkness to hide me and the light around me to become night, but even in the darkness, I can't hide from you. To you, the night shines as bright as day. Darkness and light, they are the same to you. Such an awesome reminder that God is omnipresent. He's in all spaces all the time. A lot of times we can run around, try to hide from God. David, who wrote this story here, he's someone who tried to hide and run from God a lot. And he gets to a point in his life where he says, God, I'm thrown in the towel. I've come to a realization that there's absolutely nothing that I can possibly do to remove myself from you because you are everywhere. Here's what it means is it means that you are not alone. You are never alone. That God is everywhere. That God is walking with you while you're at school. That God is walking with you while you're at home. He's walking with you in your good times and your bad times. He is aware of what is taking place and what is going on around you. So what does that have to do with the Bible? Well, the Bible is an invitation. In this book are all the details, the time, place, location, everything that you need to know that we can know about God is right here. Now, here's what the cool thing is, is that that not only did we have the Bible, but but God sent his son Jesus to live this whole thing out, to live out the attributes here on earth. And the great thing we have is we have it recorded. One of the places that it's recorded in the Bible is in the book of John. So, so uh, Jordan, tell them about our John challenge for the week. We wanted to put together something really simple for you guys. We're gonna call it our John challenge. And basically what we're challenging everybody to do is to read the book of John in one week. So that when we're back here next week at our squad, the goal is hopefully every single student at every single home will have read the book of John. I think it's three chapters a day. Yes, three 21 chapters, chapters a day. Yeah. So three a day. This is gonna take you less than 10 minutes a yeah. day. Let, that's, all, that's all we're asking for, less than 10 minutes. You'll have the whole book of John read, right there it is right there. You'll have it done, and then when we come back next week, what that does for you is that sets you up to see exactly who Jesus was in the New Testament. Mm-hmm. John is a great layout of everything that Jesus did while he was in, uh, while he was on the earth. So. John Challenge, make that happen, do that. Here's a couple things too, guys, look, subscribe to the channel. We've got 81 subscribers right now. We Man, 100 is gonna be a big deal, so we'll do something fun when we get to 100. Also, we've got some more attributes that we're gonna link below, um, and so you wanna check that. Man, this chair, do you hear that? <laughs> this chair is driving me crazy. There we go.
Oh, one more thing we got, our lead, our lead awards. awards night. So this is gonna be a ton of fun. Um, you're gonna love it. This year we're gonna do it, we're stepping it up a notch. You dress up, get dressed up, yeah, wear, yeah. wear your little, little, little tie action, ladies, get all dressed up, but it's like an awards night, and it's gonna be a lot of fun, dinner and all that stuff. So if you serve with our students, if you serve in, on Sunday mornings, uh, that's you. So you should have received an invite, either in your email, your parents' email, maybe it got texted to you, we're sending it out multiple ways. Get signed up for that, get your RSVP in so that we know that you're there, you gotta get on the list. Yeah, Can't sure. get in if you're not on the list. That's right. Cool. Hey, have some great time in your small group talking about the Bible, and we'll see you next week, and you've already read the book of John. It's going to be awesome. There we go.